Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So um, what I'm going to do is show you how to graph uh, the linear inequality 2x plus 5y is less than or equal to 10. And um, I'm going to show you the way how to graph this in standard form, um, even though a lot of times we like to graph this in slope-intercept form. And just a reminder for those of you that were kind of looking for me to solve this in the slope-intercept form, I will kind of show you the step-by-step -step way to do that, but I'm not going to graph in this format. But to do, put it in a slope-intercept form, I'd have to solve for y. So I need to undo all the operations that are happening to my variable. So I'm undoing, uh, adding 2x on both sides. So I have 5y is less than or equal to a negative 2x plus 10. Again, I'm just subtracting 2x. I'm not dividing or multiplying. So it's going, my sign's going to remain the same. And then I'll divide by 5 on both sides. Make sure you distribute the 5 to both of those. So I have y is less than or equal to a negative 2 fifths x plus 2. And now you could go ahead and graph that using slope-intercept form. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pretend like this is an absolute value equa uh, equation, or <laughs> a linear equation. And I'm going to solve this using standard form. And the way to solve this using standard form, or I'm sorry, to solve this uh, in standard form using what we call our intercept method. And basically what the intercept method tells us to do is to find the x and the y intercept. And we know that here's my y-axis and here's my x-axis. Wherever the graph crosses the x-axis, we know the y value is 0. And wherever the graph crosses the y-axis, we know the x value is 0. So to determine the x-axis or the x-intercept, all I'm simply going to do is determine x, I'm going to say y equals 0, and then solve for x. So I take my equation and I put 0 in for uh, y plus 5 times 0 is equal to 10. So therefore, I have 2x is equal to 10, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 5. So therefore, on, fi on the x-axis, I can plot the point 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 comma 0. That is my x-axis. Then, to solve for the y-intercept, you're just going to do the same thing, but now you're going to say x equals 0, and then you're going to solve for y. So I have 2 times 0 plus 5x equals 10. And again, you can use your inequality, but we're just trying to find the x and y intercepts. Um, so you, it's just as easy just to use your equation, because we're not, you, we're not talking about the shading part yet. X e oh, I'm sorry. What am I doing? That's a y. I plugged that in wrong. So divide by 5, and what I have is y equals 2. So that means I go up 2 and 2. Now before I connect, I want to make sure what type of line. Is my graph going to be dashed, or is it going to be a solid line? What type of boundary line am I going to have? So when I look at this, since this is less than or equal to, I know that my point is going to be a part of my solution. And I will show that to you how that works. And that's a really bad line. But you can see it goes to those two points, and that's it. Now to determine, do I shade below or above the line? Um, well, all I'm simply going to do is use a test point. And the best test point to use is 0, 0. So I'm going to plug 0, 0 into my equation. And I have 2 times 0 plus 5 times 0 is less than or equal to 10. Well, obviously, that it's all 0 is less than or equal to 10, which we know is true. So since this test point is true, that means all of the points below the line are true. Now let's quickly go through why is it work for also um, the line, right? Why is the line solid and not dashed? Well, again, if I choose this point, which would be 0, comma 2, and I plug that in, I would have 2 times 0 plus 5 times 2 is less than or equal to 10, which is 10 less than or equal to 10, which is true. So since it's true, that means all our points on our line are a part of our solution. So therefore, that's why it's a solid line and not a dash. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph your linear inequality when still in standard form. Thanks.